Hello, people, and welcome to another edition of yours truly, Josiah Willis, here today with another reaction. Let's go right ahead and get back to it. Back to some hip hop. Oh, back to some hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop. Y'all know what it is. We got my guy, Eminem Trouble slash Brand New Day. All right, so let's go right ahead and give a shout out to Eminem. And also to the producer of this record, this hit record, who produced the song, let me see, let me see, let me see, who produced the song, did Eminem produce this, does it say he produced this, I think it does, let me see, I just want to make sure, make sure. Sorry, you guys. So, yeah, looks like Eminem produced it. Okay, cool. Shout out to Eminem for the production of Trouble, then. All right. And I've heard this is going to be a song where he conversates with, with Slim Shady. Okay. Okay, we got somewhere in him. We got something cooking. Um. Also, by the way, uh, I believe my last song reaction to Eminem was Renaissance slash Habits featuring White Goat. Checked out that reaction. I did that about a couple of weeks ago. I gave about a week off because I had to deal with some personal matters. I may, may get into that at some point eventually. But right about now, I'm okay. I'm good. My spirits is up. So no worries, you guys. The joy still around your side in the presence of the Lord is with me. So, yeah, man. Um, before we go right here and get into the festivities, let's get to my sticks. Okay. Now, let's get into the proceedings, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a quick favor, and that is to like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down. These songs will be down in my description below. This is Eminem. We're going to start off with Trouble first, produced by Eminem himself. All right. <clears throat> Also, a lurker breakdown will be down for both songs. Yes, also lurker breakdown will be down, will be done for both songs. Once the songs are over, I'm gonna do them all, I'm gonna do them both uh, separate respectively. And yes, you guys, I do have two other YouTube channels. One is called the King Life Podcast, alongside my co-host Anthony Lombardo, and the other is called the Live Outlet. L-Y-V-E, Space Outlet, alongside my other good friends, Rail, Ebony, BZ. We talk that talk, listen in, and pick up some jams. All right, enough talking. Let's get into this song reaction or reaction. All right, here, drink this. What is it? Shut up and drink it. No. I said drink it, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck are you trying to do? Get us canceled. Hey yo, fuck blind people. What? And deaf people suck. Stop. Yeah. So do cripples. Oh. Dumb quadriplegic fucks with Christopher Reeves' love. Whoa, whoa. Shady Jesus, what the fuck? Oh. Here comes Marshall to try to clean this up. Shut up! What's the matter, Marshall? Your penis tucked? Aw, oh, the big bad rapper just get his feelings hurt. Let me go, you bitch. Or huh. oh, what, genius, huh? You gonna cancel me? Yeah, Gen Z me, bruh. Little pussy, what's wrong? Thought you was dreaming, huh? When you gonna realize that we fucking need each other? Okay. All right, short to the point. Eminem and Slim Shady are going back and forth. Obviously, they're one and the same, but have different personalities. Might not add. Slim, I would say, is more ruthless. M is more mature. Yeah. That's how I would describe the difference. So, F, blind people. Forget blind people. And deaf people suck. By the way, none of, the, I, none of this I condone whatsoever. But it's a Slim Shade talking, okay? So, he's ranting here about how he does not like these people, these, these type of people. And basically, this is um, try to fill a one-sided beef. So this song is about a one-sided beef when it comes to Gen Z. I'm a part of Gen Z. I don't necessarily get into all Gen Z stuff, but I get it, though. So do cripples, dumb, quadriplegic stuff, or people. 
with Christopher Reeve's luck. Dang. So, all right. Christopher Reeve, Christopher Reeve, <laughs> Christopher Reeve, may he rest in peace, was an actor best known for portraying Superman. He's the OG Superman, just like I, I always love Tobey Maguire. is the OG Spider-Man. Or if you're a big Batman fan, you can probably love the OG Adam West. So, but sometime in 1995, about some years later after the film came out back in 78, in 95, uh, Chris was on a horse. He, you know, we all know the story. He rode the horse, had a horse riding accident. It paralyzed him from the neck down. So he was, he was wheelchair bound for the rest of his whole entire life until he passed away. So what Eminem is saying here is that there's an enduring trope he mentions about, I think he mentioned about him before in a song called Madison Ball. And some people have speculated that this is easy to rhyme and shock value. And that pretty much is, you know, been Eminem's signature thing for the most part. So, you know, he's going to say some things that's going to be wild. You're going to be like, whoa, 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 Eminem. Yo, chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's kind of dope in a very dope way, even though I don't condone talking about someone's death. But I don't, well, he ain't talking about his death, but like, quadriplegic, I can't say words, quadriplegic people. So, yeah, man. Shady, what the? Oh, here comes Marshall to try to clean this up. What's the matter, Marshall? So there's an argument between, you know, Eminem here and his alter ego. Your, you know, private area is tucked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, all oh, the big web rapper just get his feelings hurt. So you know, feelings hurt. You know, treat him like like he's a kid, basically in the snap third. Uh, could be a little bit of a reference here to what he did with MJK back on the song "Rap Devil" when MJK you know said the big bad boy of the rap game can't take a a joke. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and there's that. Some people you know have their feelings about that, and uh, yeah, I'm keeping my mouth shut because I don't want to hurt the Eminem stance. Because uh, I love Eminem, don't get me wrong, but that Red Devil was was looking kind of hard. So, and I and I just now see see I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't save myself. I couldn't save myself. You're gonna probably come at me on the comments, be like, "So what? What? He's a better? You talking about he's a better rapper than Eminem? No, we did not say that. I I okay. Here's what I'm gonna say. All right, just right quick, just right quick. Bear with me. Eminem won. We're not taking that away from him. Eminem definitely won the rap battle when it came to him and MJK. I will give them, I will give him more of the credit. However, I really do think that some of what MJK said, I want to say it's going as far as that they hit hard or they hit home, but he questioned a lot about Eminem. And some of the things Eminem did address, he addressed it sarcastically. But never really like annihilate MJK. If you watch him now with his past beefs, he's always annihilated everyone that was his opposition. For MJK, I feel like he slightly, maybe he did it on purpose because of you know age and experience. He slightly held back just just a little bit when, when it came to kill a shot. Rap Devil to me, in terms of production and that hook, just it it it, it kind of sounded a little bit better for me than than Kill Shot's production. But Eminem have way better lyrics. So, yes, I will give the edge over to Eminem. Yes, he won. But some people just, just won't act like MJK's production was not hard. And if you're not a big fan of MJK, you think he's horrible, blah, 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 cool. That's fine by you. But MJK's music now, with him doing The Rock and things like that, I mean, he's killing it. So, I mean, they're both successful artists at, at, at their point in time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and, you know, go about it to the beast because we already know what stemmed from the beef overall. But it is what it is. Um, uh, the F, the F are you trying to do? Get us canceled. Cancel culture. Try right, chill out. And then he says, uh, you gonna cancel me? Yeah, Gen Z B, Gen, Gen Z B, Gen Z me, bruh, little, what's wrong? Thought you was dreaming, huh? When you gonna realize that we really need each other. So, and then this is a, a foreshadowing what's to come. I heard this is going to lead into the track Guilty Conscious number two, which is funny because Guilty Conscious has not been out since like the first Guilty Conscious hasn't been out since like what Slim Shay LP? LP? Yeah. Wow, it's been a minute. I think that's like wasn't that Eminem's first or a second album? I think that's one of his first or second album when he did that because yeah, that's that's dope. All right. 
Let's go right here and get to brand new dance. That was my liquor breakdown for that one. And I'm going to give you my liquor breakdown for this one. So who produced brand new dance right quick? I would love to highlight the producers because it can be just the artist that gets the credit. It has to be the producers as well. So who produced brand new dance? Let's see. Eminem and Luis Risto or Resto. All right. Let's go right here and get into brand new dance. Without further ado, I'm going to share my screen. Sorry about that. Your hard work probably already heard it, Brent. <laughs> Y'all probably heard it. I don't know why what I just said just now. Y'all probably just heard it momentarily just now, just a little bit which far the man. But uh here we are. Brand new dance. I'm sorry. Y'all probably like, no, decide wait. All right, so let's go ahead and X out the other song and let's full screen this brand new dance. Y'all ready? All right. Here we go. Brand new dance. Take it back. We gotta get we gotta get that bear 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 in there. Take it back. What the, what's going on? Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. All right, there we go. There we go. Get up. Everybody on the dance floor. Come on. I mean it's you too, Chris. <laughs> Well, it's Friday night, no date for the prom. Just got caught jacking off by the mom. Suspended from school for setting off the alarm. Keep drunk, keep screaming, you gon' drop the bomb. But anyway, every day is the same old shit. It room looking like a tornado hit it. Try to explain your parents, they don't get it. Time to hit you with a phone gate over the metal roll. If you're ready, we gon' start the show. Everybody in the world, all across the globe. You can feel it in your head, down to your toes. Dancing to your wheelchair bound, here we go. Yeah, horseback, little dosy go. Little bit of soul mixed with some rodeo. Everybody in the world's gonna laugh today. Shit, I'll probably end up crippled after this. Come on, dance and stomp your feet. Everybody join together. Yeah, feel the funky beat. Everywhere you see people laughing and dancing in the street. On the counter, three, everybody do. I'm Christopher Reeves. One, two, three, follow me. <laughs> Superman, Batman, Spider Man. Slip fell landing in a garbage can. Shit, hell, damn it, I can hardly stand. But I get it cracking like no one in the party can. Give me a beat, I'll show you all a brand new dance. All I need is a stretcher and an ambulance. Stand back, kids don't try this at home It's a brand new craze and it's sweeping the nation Anything else is a cheap imitation Just make sure that you videotape it You can only do it once, but the people go ape shit It's a crowd favorite, a party pleaser It's better than the shake of the grandma seizure So next time that you see grandma teaser And roll up with a fresh set of wheels all greased up Everybody join together Feel the funky beat Everywhere you see people laughing and dancing in the street On the counter three, everybody do Don't press the for reefs One, two, three, follow me <laughs> If your arms, face, feet, and your hands are numb You've fallen, you can't get up It's a brand new dance This is my Chris Anthem I'm Giving Chris Reeves his Chris Anthemums I'ma have everybody jumping at this Kevin Jenner in the front row pumping a fist With a simple little twist and a flick of the wrist A little snap of the neck and a slip of the disc You just pull up a chair and grab a seat And clap your hands and stomp your feet Or stomp your hands and clap your feet Flop around till you're looking like a slab of meat You put your left foot back, you're right in front Tip your head back, let it touch your butt Do you feel a little pop like, what the fuck? Motherfuck, fuck a dog, what the fuck? I'm stuck, so party people, are you with me? What's the deal? If you real, grab your chair up by the wheel If you wanna feel just like the man of steel when Millin' on a million banana pills Clap your hands and stomp your feet Everybody join together Yeah, feel the funky beat Everywhere you see people laughing and dancing in the street On the counter three, everybody do Love Christopher Reeves One, two, three, follow me Holy shit. <laughs> From the producers of Vanderpump Rules. Well, all right, chill out, Valley. Chill out, the Valley. All right. So, 
There's a lot to take in here. I'm not going to go through everything because I don't want to waste you guys' time. I'll be doing like 40-minute reactions towards Eminem, and those reactions take a, a lot out of me. So we're going to go right ahead and get towards the lyrical breakdown. Probably didn't say that for the last one. Let's go right ahead and get towards the lyrical breakdown minus the intro, which there is one. Verse one. Well, it's Friday night. No day for the prom. Just got caught jacking off by your mom. Masturbation is a thing. Suspended from school for setting off the alarm. Kim John keeps screaming he going to drop the bomb. So Kim John happens to be, he's from Korea, right? Uh, let me see. Kim Jong-un, yeah, but I believe that he came through uh, after his father, Kim jong too. He was a leader of North Korea and passed away after a decline in his health. If you know about that, you know, you know. But this song was just added in because I believe this song actually came out in 04. So this song is, is, is wow, yeah, this is crazy. 2004, and here we are in 2024. Wow, so that's like how many years? Like what about 14 not 14 it's like more than that right let's do the map right there so actually i'm gonna go ahead and do one here because my wi-fi might have the weird so let's do 2024 i'm gonna do the calculator right here minus 2004 so that's 20 years in the making wow i'm sorry i i know you probably are like josiah you can't do math in your head i can but it's been a minute <laughs> so bear with me so yeah bro that's crazy uh, what is going on, with my genius? Okay, she'll chill out, chill out. I look up genius for lyric videos, but then I break it up in my own way. Uh, anyways, but anyway, every day is the same old stuff, you know, same old stuff. Also, same old dance is also a record that he's put out. He's but he's put out two dance records, two songs that refer dance to one, or they were called dance or, or whatever. Room looked like a tornado hit it. Okay. Common expression, you know, so basically the room is messed up. Trying to explain your parents, they don't get it. Time to hit you with a funky dope rhythm. Let it roll. If you're ready, we're going to start the show. Everybody in the world, all across the globe. You can feel it in your head down to. What just happened? Better hit my boy up at the words. Okay. Anyways, you can feel it in your head down to your toes. Dance until your wheelchair bound. Here we go. That's crazy. Yeah. Horseback. Little doozy dough. Little bit of soul mixed with some rodeo. Everybody in the world is going to laugh to this. I'll probably end up crippled after this. Come on. So this is going back to Christopher Reeves, you know, being a quadriplegic. If you're quadriplegic, this and that, third, at towards the end, he mentions Christopher Reeves talking through, you know, a monitor or I forget what that voice thing that they have when they're wheel and they're in a wheelchair. It's kind of like a reference to, uh, I want to say Stephen Hawking's, if I'm not, you know, um, incorrect about that. So, yeah. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Everybody join together. Can you feel the funky beat? Everywhere you see people laughing and dancing in the street. On the count of three, everybody do the Christopher Reeves. One, two, three, follow me. So, wow, this is crazy, man. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> this is crazy. It, it, it says it says what, what it says for itself. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, slipped, fell, landed in a garbage can. Hell, I can hardly stand, but I get it cracking like no one in the party can. Give me a B. I'll show you all a brand new dance. All I need is a stretcher and an ambulance. Now stand back, kids. Don't try this at home. Chi, uh, uh, chi boom, chi boom, chi boom, chick boom, ooh, ah, oh. It's a brand new craze and it's within the nation. Anything else is a cheap imitation. Just make sure that you videotape it. You can only do it once, but the people go eight. It's pretty. It's a crowd favorite. A party pleaser. It's better than the shake of the grand mouse uh, uh, seizure. This is crazy. What is just going on? Am I seeing things? I don't see things. Hold on. So, hmm. Go on, sip some water. Hope nothing crazy is going on right about now.
Met the cost of maintenance. Okay. Chill out, please. Anyways, so next time that you see Grandma tease her and roll over with a fresh set of wheels all greased up. All right. There we go. Bridge. If your arms, legs, feet, and your hands are numb, you fall and you can't get up, it's a brand new dance. This is my Chris Anthem. I'm giving Chris Reeves his Kristen Anthems. All right. Verse three. I'm going to have everybody jump into this. Caitlyn Jenner in the front row pumping her fists. All right. Foreshadowing what happens with Guilty Conscious later on. You just pull up. Hold on. With a simple little twist and a flick of the wrist, a little snap of the disc. It's funny how you said flick of the wrist, and that song ain't even come out yet. And a flick of the wrist, a little snap of, of the neck, and a slip of the disc. You just pull up a chair. This is crazy. You just pull up a chair and grab a seat and clap your hands and stomp your feet, or stomp your hands and clap your feet. Flop around till you look like a, a slab of meat. You pull, you put your left foot back, your right in front. Tip your head back, let it touch your butt till you feel a little pop. Like, what the mother? Forget a duck. What the duck? What the? Okay, this is crazy. I'm stuck. So, party people, are you with me? What's the deal? If you real, grab your chair up by the wheel. If you want to feel just like the man of steel, win mil a million banana pills. Come on. Yeah, that's uh, one of the most controversial rap songs I've ever heard for sure. Eminem is definitely all about shock value. It's, it's a, you know, an idea of, of you know going for the schemes. Um, I'm not quite sure how anyone will feel about that. It's definitely a touchy kind of like song. The, the catchy? The hook is catchy though. I'm not going to lie. The, the hook is pretty catchy. Uh, I'm I'm digging this. Like, like, like I said, for, you know, I'm, I'm doing this full album, track to my track, you know, reaction towards Eminem. From the album The Death of Slim Shady, by the way. And I will give you guys songs that grab me and what songs that didn't. Um, right now I'm kind of like on the fence about this record and then the trouble record too. Not necessarily too bad, but something about them I, I'm not really vibing with right about now. So I don't know. I mean, let me know how you feel, you guys. If you guys enjoy this reaction, you know, put the fire emojis, uh, you know, in there. Tell me why, why I'm wrong <laughs> and why Eminem is so dope and why this record is fire. If you enjoy it, let me know. Let me know. I'm all, I'm all ears. So, whew, if you guys enjoyed this song reaction, please request for more songs by Eminem or artists that are very similar. And again, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a quick favor. And that is to like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link links of these songs will be down in my description below this was eminem's trouble slash brand new dance the official audio all right from the album of the death of slim shady cannot wait to do some more and see where we go from here all right <clears throat> if you guys enjoy this oh yeah i already said that if you guys would like to <laughs> Feel free to donate super thanks to help support this channel as I would like to return the favor somehow, some way this year in 2024. And yes, follow me on my social media from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter where I will try my hardest to remain consistently active, giving you guys old reactions, new reactions while trying my best to stay up to date. King Life, we are out.